Girl, I done caught up. Girl, I, done, I think I done caught up, girl. I think I done caught up, girl. Oh, Lord, this has been a long day. Child, I think I done caught up. This is your review for P Valley Season 1, Episode 4, The Trap. Now, I ain't going to hold you long. We're going to go on, on and slide right on in. We open up with Mississippi and this dude looking like an educated Muslim. No offense, child, but he did. And he talking about he don't see why he got to pay for a woman to take off her clothes or to dance. I'm like, uh, because you down to the strip club? That's what they do down here? Are you okay? Was he okay? I don't think he was okay. Anyway, Ty, he down to the strip club with morals. Who does that? Anyway, Mercedes come up and she get in his, you know, in his ass about paying Mississippi. Uh, or is he a broke one in here? He said money ain't an issue. He just don't like all these women in here degrading themselves. And at that point, I was like, you know what? Cost, where is Diamonds? Somebody go get Benny and tell Benny come beat this bitch up because he's stupid. Are you kidding me? You in there thirsting for what they got, and then you walk in there with a like, like you like you are the 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 grind madame of of morals. But if you don't sit your girl, I, that irritated me. So Mercedes said, "Oh, you ain't got no money." Child, he pulled it out. She said, "Well, give it to her then, baby." Do you know he dropped her money down to the floor? She, she told Mercedes said, pick that up. When she now Keisha, aka Mississippi, knew that it was this could possibly, these are the remnants for stuff to go left. These are all the makings of a situation. And she didn't want one. She said, It's okay, I'll get Toy to pick it up for me. Diamond popped up out the blue. And I said, Where you been, uh, Benny? Child, he hemmed old boy up. Now, you know you hemmed up good when a person lifts you off your feet by your thoak, baby. Lifted him up, raised him up a few minutes, and then let him back down, told him to hand the money to her. He handed that money to her like he had some sense about himself. Then Diamond grabbed him around the back area of his neck and escorted him on out the door. I said, see, it don't pay to come down here to the uh, to the Pea Valley, to the Pink, and try to get your shine on. You just played yourself. He looked like a whole fool like that, and I was loving every single minute of it. I said, y'all better. Y'all better. Child. Now, after the old boy has been escorted to the front door by Diamond, Mississippi sitting down there with this look on her face, and Mercedes is like, "Girl, you gonna be all right. He a bomb anyway. Uh, don't worry about him." And she wasn't feeling it. She told her, look, girl, you got to learn how to get some sense about yourself. You got to stop letting these men roll up on you and handle you. And don't worry about what he said. But she said maybe he was right and walked out. I said, girl, you, you got low self-esteem. As pretty as you is, do you have low self-esteem? You let this man who came in there looking to touch you and have you grinding all up on you, judge you. Now, who is the bigger loser? The person that's getting the bread or the person that's giving the bread? Think about it, girl. Anyway, Autumn at home, pouring all her liquor out into a doggone tub and soaking her money in it, only to take it down to the bank to open up account. And this lady say, this must be, uh, they must pay good down to the bank. She said, oh, it does. She said, oh, I know me and my husband husband no real well. I said, well, what the hell? Girl, what kind of stuff they got going on down here in Mississippi? And can I get me a bus out there ASAP to spend the weekend? Girl, I like this messy stuff. Mercedes was talking to this real estate lady, Sinclair, about renting this place, right? And she explained that she's going to be using it as a training center for major risks to practice and for uh, practice for competition, possibly. She also said that 
she got a dance. You know, I, I realized at that point, she, them girls is like, they like a dancing doll. And she Diana, just with more body, better looks, and more idea about how she want to structure her situation. No shade. That's just how I feel. Anyway, the lady's speaking of how priceless it may be. And she said, uh, and I can swing it because I'm charging a tuition fee and I already got 20 girls that's signed up to come. And at 200 a pop, that's going to be pretty good. Old girl said, but you ain't really offering a service. Because see, old girl thought she was renting it for a, to make it a, like a restaurant or something. She said, you ain't really offering nothing but a dream. She said, girl, I am the, you just don't know, I'm the queen of being able to, if it's one thing I can do, I can sell, I can sell a, a dream. So, girl, Sinclair tell her that, well, can you come up with the deposit by the next day? She said, see, folks been buying up a lot of the land around here. And the sooner you put your down payment on, the more assured, you know, the more it's likely you will be able to go on and get this place, right? So, she said it ain't no problem. She'll come up with the coins, right? Um... Oh, girl told her before she left, she said, since you're selling dreams, you want to my price, uh, you might want to shoot the price up to 250 You might as well get paid well for a dream. Child mama Patrice is packed, practicing her best Sunday gospel song in the drive through of the bank. The, Tyler, the teller asked her was she sure she wanted to close the account because she was withdrawing the money out. She said she doing the God's will and took the 20K the check for it anyway. So I'm like, okay, I kind of figured mama still had that money. Now, is she going to go on and on and do the right thing and give her daughter her money? Because you know, this ain't the church money. This is your daughter's money. She let y'all hold her money. So give her her coat. Now down to a paint gidget trying to teach Autumn how to ride the pole. Uncle Clifford said she got to learn since she got up there and slid on down and fell. Autumn trying but say she don't have the upper body strength to do it. And get just said it has nothing to do with strength, it's physics. She said the pony is the center of the universe. And in order to go around, you got to throw your weight. And she demonstrated. She said flying ain't got nothing to do with strength. It's about trust. Then uh, Mississippi come in with the baby asking uh, who hooped is that parking, uh, parked out there. And we learned that Autumn done bought her a car, a little hoopty car, but a car nonetheless. They about to go down to the Dollar Tree and get some stuff. You know, Mercedes' last day is coming up. And she hollering about where's Uncle Clifford and screaming his name. He comes out after she doing all that screaming and tell her, nope, he ain't going to be able to watch no baby today. Take your baby with you to the store. And he notices that Autumn over there playing around with the pole. He said, all right, now. He was impressed. Keyshawn said, um, I mean, Mississippi, they the same people, child. And Gidget, um. Say they are a duo now, so he, that that excited him even more. He said, "Look like this thing might actually come together after all." Then he called Autumn. <laughs> he told he called her October, uh, September, October, and said, "Come to the office. I want to show you some." Child, I said, "Not September, October." Now. Old Miss says Mississippi the other night when he was having a conversation with Andre and 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 Autumn over down in that paradise room. She was having her own little session with one of her dudes. She was laying there, the one that was laying there like she was dead, and he was throwing flowers and shit all over her. Yeah, she was eat. She was ear hustling while she was making her coin, and she heard something about the pink being closed down for a casino to be built. And Gid just say they not uh they they not gonna, you know, ain't that ain't finna happen. Uncle Clifford would never let them do that. But she said sound like from the conversation she overheard, Uncle Clifford ain't got much choice in the matter. Now <clears throat> back in Uncle Clifford's office he then did a little research and said that he found out some folks named Jenkins is buying up a lot of uh property in the area. So Autumn asked, have you been made an offer yet? Because I know you own the place. He said, yeah, I own this place, honey, but, you know, I done got into a little debt. You know, I had to make, take a loan out on the place to get some stuff together. So she tells him, basically, it don't matter even if you do 
clear your debt. You're not going to be able to hold on to this place. She said, I know guys like these, and they always win. Now, Uncle Clifford got to do something because he, uh, you know, he, he ain't, you know, he can't just let his business go down. Too many people depending on him. He want Autumn to go talk to Andre again, but she called him a creep ass dude and said she didn't want to talk to him no more. Then she talking about, you know, he got pictures of me in his computer. Uncle Clifford said, good, he got pictures of me on his computer and went and pulled them up. Showed her a picture of him. Say, girl, you ain't nobody special. Hmm. That pussy ain't no your pussy ain't that good, girl. I said, Oh, now her now her box ain't no good. Oh wow. Child, they got two weeks to get this Kyle property uh situation together and get the pink over uh signed over to Promised Land Equities. Or else that man Bill, who obviously is the founder or the CEO of the company, said that um they'll go somewhere else. So <laughs> child, dude was kind of racist too. Because Andre had said, well, the place Pink is up for foreclosure. And um, I think he might pose to be a problem. How about we just offer him a sweet little deal? Oh, boy, said if his neck is already on the chopping block, let it happen. He gave a little racial stuff going with him. And uh, Mayor Ruffin ain't got no back, ain't got no bone in his back. He just an old bitch. His greedy ass talking about him. They're going to clear everything up, give them two weeks to draw up this ordinance to expedite the foreclosure so they ain't got to worry about uh, paint. And that Andre is going to get that deal uh, finalized with them Kyle brothers. Child. So he basically going to force Uncle Clifford out. And Andre has got to get Corbin to sign the land over or no deal. All because this greedy male want a clout and a coin. He was so disrespectful to his secretary. I think her name was Elo uh, Eloise. He told her, bitch, get out. I said, baby, so he could talk to Andre privately. Now, he want to know what Andre doing and said he telling, uh, he telling, he told, what was he doing with that call? They was on a conference call. He said, I was telling Bill the truth. Baby, Mr. Mayor said Andre got a deal uh, with Corbin and he probably will, you know, he basically fixed this boy, make this come to pass. He wanted Andre to stay out of P Valley and that, you know, everybody in that hood is known for loose lips and he ain't just talking about their mouth. He said he was only there trying to close up the deal, but the mayor said, no, you trying to fuck up my legacy. See, if this deal goes through with this casino, I will be the man single-handedly making it rain on Chuck Alifa, uh County. He said, get this deal secured by week's end, Andre. And his weak ass went along with it. Now, Mama Patrice is avoiding Mercedes calls. She been calling her, leaving messages about her money. Then she called her daughter, Terrica, who has been placed on punishment three weeks per the message recorded by her foster mama, Shell. <laughs> Baby, later on, she pissed. She tried to outdo him down to the church, saying uh, she was only doing what he had, uh, you know, what she was doing. Okay, let me tell you what she was doing. <clears throat> she was up in the choir, the pulpit. Now, it's to my understanding, Mama Patrice is supposed to be the singer and the treasurer. She got aspirations to be the preacher. She up there singing and preaching. Pastor came up to stop her, and baby, she really briefed him. And then the church folk went all out, falling all out over her good words she had put out there. Later, he pissed and tried to uh, let her know in so many ways, you know, you don't outdo me in my own church. She said she was only doing what he said or uh, he was going to do for her or do he tell all his church holes lies, uh, lies. I said, wait a minute. She didn't, she didn't reference herself as a church hole. 
Oh, okay. Chai, he said the church is uh, no place for a woman. The church is, he said, God said, what did he tell her? Oh, she she capped on him. I'm sorry, I gotta get together. She running together now. She told him that he ain't no God. He said, uh, the church, this is my church, and a woman ain't got no place in the pool pit. She said, seem like the church might say otherwise. He told her, Look here, let me tell you something, Patrice. You either stay in your place or find yourself another church. Cracked her face, okay? Mercedes was entertaining that coach again who has gifted her a rather nice necklace and said that all she got to do is say it and uh, she can have more. Now, in the dressing room, child, word and got around that paint might be closing and Uncle Clipper said that it ain't so. It's just some old gossip and stuff. Mississippi say, well, I overheard that being said when you was in the uh, uh, Paradise Room the other night. He said, girl, he said something about her ass not being able to hold shit in reference to her name. I can't remember, chat, But, uh, he said that that's all lies and gossip. Gidget asked, well, what's going on then? Mercedes came in and said it ain't a funeral and she ain't gone yet. So why everybody looking so sad? One of them said, Pink finna close down. She said, no, it's not. He might be in some money, you know, trouble, but it ain't about, it ain't, it ain't that deep. Now she just spilled even more tea. Uncle Clifford told him to push that ass on out there and make that money because he was tired of talking. Forget what you heard. That was a lie. <laughs> Child. Mm, mm, mm. Gidget upset Mercedes ain't say nothing and she knew all the time. She said she couldn't help that she decided, you know, she it ain't her fault y'all wrote because she was talking to just now Gidget and Mississippi who are in the room. They upset she knew that there was problems with the club and didn't say anything. She thinking like, why well, it ain't my fault y'all didn't put y'all money, you know, save some of y'all money. Yeah, I put some of mine away. Get to say it's not that easy when you just, you know, when you got more than just a fucking dog to take care of. She said, ain't nobody tell y'all to have all of them kids. She was talking to Mississippi and warned them from day one to stack their paper. Keyshawn said, which is Mississippi, said she walk around there with her head so far up her ass, she don't know what they be doing. She said, I ain't been out there wasting uh my uh money, wasting away, wasting money. I've been stacking my paper for seven long years. And finally, I'm getting my gym I always wanted. Gidget asked, so the club ain't good enough for you anymore, Mercedes? It's good enough for me? Murder Sadie say, girl, I'm going to tell you what your mammy would tell you and that you can't stay a stripper forever. Now, that seemed to touch home for Miss Gidget. She got upset, in fact, ran out. And Miss Mississippi said, bitch, that was a low blow to Mercedes and walked out from her. I said, well, damn, she is sounding rather cold to him. But if somebody telling you who been there a minute, the whole time you need to be putting a little something to the side. And common sense also should tell you that stripper life ain't forever. And you, while you hot, you better be stacking something to the side. Because before you blank a good eye, that stripping days will be over, honey. You will be too old to go up the pole, okay? Autumn goes to see Andre. He pissed at what she did with the computer. She said Clifford needed to know. Then she saw her pics, and he said, yeah, I had them for a presentation. She admits she know about them land appraisers and said, he said, look, good night. She asked why he's so mad. Isn't that what he wanted to turn the whole town around to say to people? He said if this goes through, it can do something for the city. It's not going to cure everything. And to think I jeopardized it all for a stripper. She said, you don't even know who the fuck I am. He said, and at this point, I don't want to know. 
He said, go back home and be a mother to your kid instead of some thought ready to finesse a thirsty nigga. Baby, that struck a nerve. She went to swing it on him. He realized that really did hurt her deeper than what he probably wanted it to. So he find himself trying to stop her and calm her down. She wakes up the next morning in his damn hotel room, but he ain't getting in bed with her because he's still carrying guilt about what he almost did a few nights ago. And that's when she tells him her daughter is gone and that the scars are still pretty deep. Then she got up to leave and he grabbed her hand. She looked down at his hand. It was his ring hand. She said, oh, girl, was a lucky woman. Then we see her get in her car and go pick up another bag of cash in the disguise. She went to two separate places in disguise at each location. She is picking up money, honey. Who is this girl? Child, meanwhile, Mercedes last day and night, uh, it's, it's time for that. And we see her getting uh, ready over at the paint. Clifford frying up the marijuana chicken wing. Him, him and Lil Murda them be back there uh, done hooked up. Lil Murda and his boys arrive. Diamond tell them to get in line like the rest of the people. He said, I'm VIP around here. Diamond was about to tell him, if you don't get your ass on back there to the back of that line, but Uncle Clifford came through and said it was all right, Diamond. I mean, Diamond, let him in. Let him in. Girl, I don't know why I'm calling this boy Diamond with his fine ass. Anyway, Mama Patrice is still awarding Mercedes calls. When she get to the paint, she see Autumn getting out of her car, and she still don't like this girl. Call her a femme fatale and say she walking like she got 10 stacks on her. And I'm sitting here thinking, girl, if you only knew, she probably got more than that in that bag. When she get inside, the atmosphere is different. The girls are upset, and the club may be closing, so morale is low. Mercedes was a real raw with that Gidget, so you know that might be a little problem too. And you know if Gidget upset, Miss Sip ain't feeling it because they thick. Then she get this text because uh, Sinclair hit her up talking about that deposit need to be there because you know it's about to be over. She need to get it there by midnight, or she's probably not gonna be able to get it. So. She in there finna get ready to go to her locker and get her gear and get dressed. And baby, they done decorated her locker because despite it all, they may be mad at her, but they she's family. They have built their own little family inside of this club. So we see them, baby, getting her ready. Mercedes tried to say something to Gidget, but Gidget said, fuck you, and walked away. Mississippi said they ain't been stacking money like her. They don't know what they going to do. Mercedes said, you do what you want to do. Mississippi said, I ain't like you. You strong. You don't care what people say. She said, I'm just a pretty. That's all I got. And then she headed out to get ready to do her thing. Lil Murder then gave his new track uh, to uh, Lil, uh, uh, Lil Nev DJ Never Scared. For him to play it for Mercedes, he ain't sure, but Murder said, trust me, it's, it's what you need to play. She comes out looking good, and before she even danced, baby, they is big up in her. You know she the VIP around that thing. They giving her money and everything. Maine kept his promise. He dying to see her on her last dance. They have a new toe. They have a toast to new beginnings. Child, he got the damn, what, how, whoever got that bracelet on is at his house, child. Little Murder came up to speak to Mercedes and Maine filed like that was disrespect. He a little Rudy Pooh still rolled up. He about to tear in his ass, but she tell him it's all right. He just wanted to wish her well and tell her she going to be missed. Then we see her. Well, we see Mama Patrice. I don't know where Mama Patrice was going with her good Sunday hat church on, but she was going somewhere and it was dark. Then we see back to the club, Mercedes uh going and giving remember the big accounting dude that was telling Uncle Clifford they can't lose the place. She gave him that necklace that Coach Man gave her. 
took a little final selfie with him and he said he was gonna keep up with her on the book of faces wonder where they get that saying from the book of faces anyway child tell me they don't be watching her out of her pooch in the book of faces faces and i know damn well I heard them right here on the girl. Let me leave it alone. Mercedes then goes to see Clifford. You know, he's going to miss her, but they both got this strong, I don't show my feelings type of situation. He tell her to turn around. She turned around and he said, that's the sight he want to remember. She almost broke down crying, child, but she had to pull it together. So as she getting ready to walk out of his office, Mama Patrice called and she tell her, now don't meet me down here at the club. Meet me at the Kroger's. She on her way right now. She in the locker room. I done said that our locker going to be available soon. She said, yeah, but to the bitch who earns it. That's why it's so big. She said she's going to need to start doing more around there. At least do some type of move, she said. I done said, well, Gidget been teaching me. Autumn asked if there were any parting words she would like to tell her. And she told her, look, I always clock the exit in this bitch because you never know when you might have to turn a closed door into a window. She said, didn't you mean a closed window into a door? Mercedes said, I said what I said, bitch. Autumn said, well, don't get caught trying to climb back in. I said, oops. Oh, baby, Autumn got a little something for her. Now, in the club, one of the little murder boys, a little Pico, he was called, not feeling how shit went down with Maine them, but murder life piped down. At the end of the day, a bitch gonna be a bitch. Pico wanna know why you being so, you know, why you, well, he asked him, why you so mad? Why you so irritated? Pico said, why you being a bitch? Murder said, ain't never been nobody bitch. And Pico said, that ain't what I heard. I heard you been everybody bitch. And Murder went to whooping his ass. I'm talking about real nigga OG ass whooping, baby. He was tatted to his ass, baby, and told him, I ain't nobody's punk, but who punk are yours? Who punk are you now? Baby was tanned his ass up. Diamond had to come stop that boy from whooping the shit out of him and escorted them out. Mercedes went to meet Sinclair. She said her mama on the way with that deposit. She said, girl, it's, it's too late. Somebody else got the place. Oh, Ma, I just told you my mama on the way. Baby, Mama Patrice come out of her uh, building. Sinclair said, that's your mama? Because... Mercedes saw my mom. What you doing down here? That's your mama. Oh, okay. I'm I, I, I'm finna get out of Dodge. Baby Patrice, uh, Sinclair got on so fast. Mama Patrice told that girl, God told me to put that deposit down on this place. She said, for my for my gym. She said, no, nope, for my church. Child, she done stole her daughter's money. And, and, and sight from her. The place she wanted to rent and her money. Never would I ever, ever usually say that a child should be violent toward her parent. But in this moment, on this situation, I was all the way here for the way Mercedes went to whooping her mama ass. I said, you better stomp. She ain't, she wants stomping her. See, that's the kind of shit make you put a stump on a bitch. Don't play with me. Now, her mama just too low down. You already treat her like she less than. Then you got the audacity to spend up the girl money. Ugh. Back at the club, the niggas getting restless. It's midnight. They want Mercedes. So Clifford get up there to tell them to settle down. The show about to start. He go back to the dressing area asking where the hell Mercedes is. They don't know. They have been calling. She ain't answering. Clifford said, well, which one of y'all going to go up here and dance before Beyonce finally show up? Nobody wanted to go but one girl. But she had been eating them wings, baby. That's that one that go in the bathroom and stank up the place. So Clifford was like, uh-uh, baby, I don't need no more drama. So he was about to get dressed to go entertain the men when Mississippi said she would do it. And Clifford said, well, all right, then, let me go introduce her. 
Baby, the crowd was screaming for Mercedes, and he said she ain't performing. Then, but he got something better and introduced a nervous Mississippi to the stage. She come out of there, baby, and she up on that pole. She was working that pole like she owned that pole. Do you hear me? I said, oh, that's a star right there. Now, Mercedes can do some things, but that damn uh, Mississippi ain't nothing to be closing, yo. Don't, don't blank on her, baby. Don't blank on her, honey. Took me back to the Players Club. I was here for it. And then the music she was getting it to was by none other than Lil Murder. Baby, he got kicked out the club, but he crossed the way. He could hear his song. He just had it. Clifford go outside to check on Murder. And then saying, I know they in Clifford. I was about to finally get it in. He about to see how big Lil Murder really is. But he told him, I don't try to play me. He whipped that condom out. And baby, while Mississippi was on in that stage, Clifford was getting his buttocks on by Lil Murder. I said, ooh, how does it feel, girl? He like he was having a good time. And child, <laughs> this is a part <laughs> of the show. <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> they take us to the scene. <laughs> well, <my laughs> oh, I can't hardly control my laughter, y'all. This is <laughs> we go back to the scene. <laughs> Well, Mercedes and her mama was fighting it. They got two cop cars. Both of them hoes going to jail. Girl, if that ain't some stuff I would do, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Y'all know y'all picked the winner with that one. Girl, I almost choked off of it. <laughs> it was so funny. Because, baby, both of them looked like they had been through it. But Mama Patrice, she looked like she had been. Oh, baby, she looked like she had been hung out to dry, baby. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, this is some mess. Y'all got me reviewing, but it's fun. <clears throat> Y'all, this is some fun. Anyway, that's it, y'all. We are caught up with P Valley. Tomorrow we catch up with Greenlee and Wednesday. I'll be doing the retro reviews. I got to break this shit down. It'd be too much. I let myself get way too far behind. But that's it. That's all, y'all. Get down in the panic section. Let me know what you thought about this entire episode. Are you enjoying the show? Are you re enjoying the reviews? Just sound off down there in the comments. Let me know what's going on with your child down there. And um, in closing, as always, you do not have to be great to get started, but you must get started in order to be great. And the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the videos. Ratings get me recognized on the YT streets. Let me hear what you got to say down in the panic section. And subscribe to this channel if you have not already, as well as my backup channel, Lady Nika Live. The link for the second channel is always in the description box below the title of the video. Once you subscribe, please tap your notification bells and press them things to all so that each and every time I drop a pre-recorded video or go live from either channel, you guys will be notified and you can come over and join in the conversation. Have a great remainder to your Tuesday. Well, have a great start to your Tuesday morning and I'll see you guys later on today with the Ketchup of Greenleaf. Peace.